lifeline i hope that this video finds you well thank you for joining us on our youtube channel and we hope that if you haven't already that you'll subscribe and please tell others as well to subscribe to this channel so that way you can keep getting all of our videos all of our updates and um also just want to let you know that our lifeline staff is covering you in our prayers for your safety and for your health and if there's anything that you need please feel free to reach out to any of us and we will do our best to um, assist you in any way or assist a family member um, but I do have a word for you today it's not long and it's something that has really pricked my heart it's something that just happened maybe about two days ago um, and I just wanted to share with you a little story along with um, scripture but uh, I want to say a, a few days ago I had just gotten up and I was doing my hair, just putting it up in a ponytail and in the middle of that I just started crying and I felt just God, I knew it was God because there's just always that different atmosphere that changes and I just started speaking in tongues and God just asked me one simple thing and he asked me what if I just want to talk to you and it hit me really hard and it made me think of what we're all going through right now the world is just in chaos and everyone is wondering why is this happening now it just happened from nowhere and I know that God is omniscient so he knew that it was going to happen he didn't have to tell us he didn't have to warn us but it happened and it made me think of that moment when you're asleep and in the middle of the night your phone just goes off it's so loud it disturbs you it wakes you up it makes your heart just skip a beat and you're in this frantic mode and it this phone call is coming at an inconvenient time for you but because it's so inconvenient, you know that it must be an important phone call. And I feel like God was reminding me of that. Like this right here could be our inconvenient call to the church, um, an inconvenient call to the prodigals. You know, he's trying to put on pause everything else because maybe we have forgotten our priorities. The main reason why we're here to share the gospel, to spread love to those. And I made a choice that through this time that we're supposed to, you know, shy away from any social gatherings to draw closer to God. And I was reading and in the book of Amos how God was trying to give correction to Israel and also letting them know of things that he's done for them. And after he has expressed that, he said, yet you have not returned to me. And that just really pulled me how God is trying to reach out to a few of us. And this is our wake up call, you know, and it could be that maybe we're not backsliding, but we have just put aside things that God has put in our hearts to do, to talk to that lost soul, to call a family member who's not in church, just to kind of let them know, hey, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm praying for you. Or that night, you know, we used to be so sensitive to God, he would just wake us up in the middle of the night to pray for someone, to intercede for someone. And that's what the world needs right now, is our prayers. They're needing our words of encouragement because they have no idea who to turn to. But we do. And we could be selfish to hold that just within ourselves. When we could do our part and get along with God and intercede for those who don't even know who to turn to and I just want to encourage you all today just to take a time out and just to speak to God and communicate with him and have that relationship rekindled but not only for you but for other people because in the book of Daniel <clears throat> it expresses how Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego all went through different situations and in the midst of that chaos at the very outcome of it, every single king realized 
who the true king was, who God was, who the God that they served was. And in the midst of our chaos, in the midst of our crisis, who are we going to put, point others to? To our God? Or are we just gonna let them panic? And I challenge you, just be wise how you respond in this situation. Because people are looking at you, but they're looking at your feed. They're looking at what you're posting. They're looking at your faith. If it's your faith or your fear that is going to define who you serve. God bless you, everybody. I hope that you um, have a wonderful day. And again, whatever you need, you let us know. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified the next time we drop a devotional or a message or any other video here on YouTube. God bless.